My daughter's really vocal. She'll tell them when she doesn't want them around and to leave her alone and to stop. And I love that they use their little voices. Kim Kardashian just dropped a parenting bombshell. Her unapologetic approach to raising kids has sparked heated debates. But is she onto something? Or is she going too far? Kim Kardashian isn't just a reality star and entrepreneur. She's a mother navigating the complexities of raising four kids under the media's ever-watchful eye. Recently, she opened up about her unique approach to parenting and its left fans, and even experts talking. From teaching her kids to stand up for themselves to balancing fame with a sense of normalcy, Kim's bold take on parenting might surprise you. I think they grew up seeing the cameras and they grew up seeing that even as babies. You know, we'd walk out and there'd be paparazzi. So it's not really something that they acknowledge a lot, but they also have such a normal life and such a different life away from all of that too. But how does she strike that balance? Let's break it down. Kim's parenting style. Freedom meets boundaries. Kim Kardashian believes in giving her children freedom, but with strong boundaries. Her daughter, North, has already learned to stand up to paparazzi, a skill Kim supports fully. My daughter's really vocal. She'll tell them when she doesn't want them around and to leave her alone and to stop. And I love that they use their little voices. But is Kim's approach effective? What do parenting experts have to say Experts agree that teaching kids independence early can build confidence. As Dr. Becky Kennedy says, Trying to understand your kid's bad behavior is the foundation for effectively changing their behavior. Kim's method of giving her kids room to express themselves aligns with modern parenting strategies that focus on fostering resilience. Kim's focus on balancing freedom and boundaries is actually very reflective of modern parenting trends. Parents today are often caught between wanting to protect their children from the world and allowing them to experience the world on their own terms. Kim seems to understand this, which is why her parenting style resonates with so many. What do you think? Is giving kids more independence while setting strong boundaries the right approach? Or should parents be more protective? Parenting in the public eye. Parenting is hard enough, but Kim faces the added challenge of doing it in the public eye. She admits that her kids are used to seeing cameras, but she's careful to maintain a sense of normalcy for them. I think they grew up seeing the cameras and they grew up seeing that even as babies. You know, we'd walk out and there'd be paparazzi. So it's not really something that they acknowledge a lot, but you know, my daughter's really vocal. She'll tell them when she doesn't want them around and to leave her alone and to stop. So how does Kim juggle fame and motherhood? Experts say her approach might be key to raising emotionally healthy children. Dr. Becky explains, Resilience really is our ability to tolerate hard things. And the word tolerate is important because we all think it's the ability to like get through it. The getting through happens when it happens. And the truth is the longer you can tolerate something, not something toxic, that is so not what I'm talking about, sure. or abusive, but the longer you can tolerate something hard, the success is gonna find itself and it's gonna be more likely because you were able to stay in the hard place. Kim's approach teaches her children to face the pressures of fame while also giving them space to just be kids. This isn't just something celebrity parents face. Everyday parents are dealing with the pressures of social media and technology exposure. According to experts, kids today are growing up in a digital world where they have to manage their personal image from a young age, much like Kim's kids do with paparazzi. Kim's balance of exposure and boundaries could be a valuable lesson for any parent in this digital age. How do you handle technology and social media with your kids? Do you set strict rules or do you give them more freedom? Empathy, Kim's secret weapon. Kim's journey into justice reform has dramatically shifted how she approaches parenting. She's developed a deeper sense of empathy, something she's determined to pass on to her kids. I always felt like I was a compassionate person and a caring person, and I always cared about people's feelings but my level of empathy was at a completely different level when I started. I might have been way more judgmental, and I would think that someone that was behind bars, especially for a really lengthy or a serious crime, that they probably were absolutely guilty. I had no compassion. I was just really judgmental. And then when I started to hear about these cases and people's backstories and 
their histories and realize that so many people really didn't have the opportunities to be better and didn't know better. It really changed my whole life. And like my level of empathy is just so different than what it was years ago. But how does empathy play into her parenting? And is it enough to handle the challenges of raising kids in the spotlight? Experts say that teaching empathy is one of the most valuable lessons a parent can impart, according to one expert. The highest level of empathy, and that's really as parents with what we want to do in terms of helping our kids, is what they call compassion empathy. And that's when you can actually intellectually put yourself in the shoes of somebody else, you can feel the emotion, but the most important thing is they do something about it. Right. They take they act. action. They yeah. Act. yeah, so it's not good enough to just feel bad. Mm -hmm. It's important thing to really teach empathy to our kids is we have to actually show them an action step. Empathy is becoming a cornerstone of modern parenting, with many experts advocating for emotional intelligence as a key factor in raising well-adjusted kids. Kim's approach, teaching her children to understand and feel for others, aligns with this trend. Studies have shown that children who are raised with empathy are better equipped to handle interpersonal challenges, and they often grow into more emotionally intelligent adults. Balancing fame and normal life Despite the chaos of fame, Kim is determined to give her kids a normal childhood. She credits her close family bonds with keeping them grounded. I love that my sisters and I all had babies at the same time so they can be with each other and have these experiences together. Mm -hmm. But is Kim's family first approach enough to shield her kids from the pressures of fame? Or is she setting them up for even bigger challenges down the road? Experts stress the importance of community and support in parenting. It's the number one reason why they don't get the support they even think they need is I should be able to do this on my own. Which really is a way of saying parenting has kind of traditionally been a woman's job. I think they're shifting around that. It's great. Um, and it should just be something women have an instinct to do, which is a really great setup for any parent when they're struggling to say, I guess it's me. When we're struggling, we can either say, what is wrong with me and it's my fault? Or when we're struggling, we could say, what resources and support do I need? And they're two completely different paths. <laughs> one is activating and has hope and has a likelihood of change. And one is actually spiraling into an abyss and a freeze state, right, of shame, which makes it possible to- Says be. Dr. Becky. Kim's emphasis on family is not just about having a strong support system. It's about giving her children a sense of belonging outside of fame. This focus on togetherness mirrors what many experts advise. Building a solid support network can be one of the most powerful tools a parent can give their children. Kids who grow up with close family connections tend to feel more secure and develop healthier relationships later in life. Kim Kardashian's parenting style is bold, controversial, and definitely stirring conversations. But what do you think? Is she paving the way for a new era of modern parenting or are her methods too extreme? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Kim's approach would work for your kids? If you found this discussion insightful, don't leave just yet. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more thought-provoking celebrity insights. And make sure to ring the bell so you never miss an update on the latest in parenting, celebrity news and life lessons from the stars.